I wanted to transition before I go to break about this whole Zion Williamson thing. And you know the story, you know. Former adult film star apparently allegedly had some kind of relationship with him and she's walking around sounding scorned. Mariah Mills is her name, sounding scorned because he ended up with somebody else and you know, all of this other stuff. None of our business, really. She's made it our business because she's publicized everything. Here's the deal. <clears throat> there are people that have been commenting not about that specific per se, but essentially asking the question as to why players date women of that ilk, as opposed to women out there that are career women, women that, you know, are doing other professional things as opposed to being an adult film star or a stripper and all of this other stuff. We don't have to get salacious with it, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I was under the impression that I knew the answer to this question. And the answer was to me was that men are visual creatures. We don't give a damn what form you in. We covet what we see. And if we like what we see enough, don't abandon me. Fellas, God turning ahead, being scared. Don't, don't desert me now. It's the truth. Men are visual creatures. We covet what we see. And unfortunately, on far too many occasions, the thinking part of it all comes in later, not earlier. But then a former NBA star. Who, by the way, has his own podcast, who, by the way, knows a lot about basketball on and off the court. Whose name happens to be Gilbert Arenas, who was on a podcast, my man Patrick Beverly's podcast, talking about this subject, took a moment to explain why players actually date, quote unquote, according to them, worst women. Listen to this. Think about the the other the other sex that's free between noon and damn. Seven o'clock. Strippers. Mm. Girls, Instagram models ain't got shit to do in life. Right? All the sophisticated women at work. <laughs> they at work. Now, me, I don't think that way. I want to state for the record. I've had witnesses in here. I don't think that way. As far as I'm concerned, who am I to judge? There are people out there you wouldn't prefer that they go that route but some people some people have their own proclivities and they want to do what they want to do others are trying to earn an honest living and an honest paycheck and damn it that's what they choose to do because it's profitable and it's about the dollars and cents but the ladies in here ashley sumatra Sherry, Laura, people like these are people in my inner circle. Now they're part of this team. They're part of my staff. They say, not me, not me, not the fellas. None of us are guilty of this. We didn't say that. None of us, never that, never that, never, none of us. Just the ladies. They said, not me. They said, Gilbert Arenas has a point. Because a true professional working woman is busy working. They ain't got time to be an Instagram model. They ain't got time to be involved in adult films. They ain't got time for all of that because they're working. I don't know the answer to this question. So I'll pose it to y'all. Do you agree with Gilbert Arenas? Or don't you? I don't know. But the ladies told me I needed to care to present that question to y'all. So who am I to disappoint? Before I move on from this particular subject, during the commercial break, it was brought to my attention that this lady, Miss Mariah Mills, her Instagram account, 
This is Mariah Mills. She just tattooed Zion's name on her face. So I'm not going to talk about this anymore other than to say this one last thing. One or two things are going on here. Either she is starving for attention. Starving for attention. And willing to do whatever she can to get it. Okay. Even if it's at his expense. Or she had a pretty damn good time with him. And can't get over it. Y'all decide. I'm going to leave it at that.